One of the most common discussions I see online when it comes to vinyl coated wire is the difference between extruded, extruded bonded, and fused bonded. So today, we're gonna dig into it. All right, from all outward appearances, these three strands of wire are exactly the same. They're all eight gauge finish, which just means the outside diameter of each strand is eight gauge. Now, the inside, once we start looking inside, we realize that the core is a bit different. So we've got 11 gauge core on the extruded, the extruded bonded. We have a nine gauge core on the fuse bonded, but that's not where the differences end. First, let's talk about the extruded. So when we're making extruded wire, actually, if you guys watch the channel, uh, you saw us go up to Brent Manufacturing in Wyoming to view their extrusion process. When we were viewing that, what we learned was, so we'll take a galvanized strand, the same thing we would make regular galvanized chain link with, and run it through a molten bath, a molten waterfall of the extrusion. So therefore, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's just straight extruded. And then the vinyl jacket is cooled, it's coiled on the spool, and sent to producers similar to us for production. Next, we'll move to the extruded bonded. Now, like I said, from all appearances, the extruded bonded and the extruded are exactly the same. It's 11 gauge core, it's an eight gauge finish. You can't physically, just by the naked eye, tell the difference between these two wires. So the extruded bonded, before the galvanized core goes through the molten bath of vinyl coating, it'll have a bonding agent, a glue, applied to it first. So that this jacket, instead of just being cooled and shrinking itself and, and somewhat bonding to the core, it'll actually have that bonding agent that will glue it to the core, the galvanized core. Now, we can test this pretty quickly and see which is which by simply uh, taking a slight sample off of the coating. What we'll find is that, so say, say this simulates a weed eater taking some of the actual coating off. What we'll see is the jacket will actually separate from the core pretty easily. I mean, just with pretty minimal effort. We'll just use our fingernails, get underneath it, and then the whole jacket will peel off. So what we'll find is out in the elements, this would just continue to crack up the jacket as the jacket dries out and exposed to UV and such. And so it would continue to separate from the core, generally not looking great. Now the nice thing is, so the, gal the, the core of this is actually galvanized, which means it would still resist rust and corrosion. So the fence itself structurally would be the same, but, it's not gonna look as nice. So we'll pick up a piece of the extruded bonded, peel off part of the jacket. So we are really gonna have to work at this. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there's a, you can see the adhesion, you can see the glue, the, the bonding agent holding this on here. I mean, I'm, it's hard, hard to show you guys on camera, but you really gotta get effort in this. And actually this part of the jacket's not really wanting to separate without tearing off a fingernail. But the point being, so that bonding agent is holding the jacket on there. So if it had gotten nicked with a weed eater or whatever damage had occurred, the damage would be isolated to that area. The jacket wouldn't separate and expand that damage elsewhere on the wire. Now, the difference between extruded and extruded bonded is pretty minimal. You can't speak for all producers, but when we're manufacturing it, it's about one cent per square foot difference between extruded and extruded bonded. If for a penny a square foot, we can keep the jacket from separating like this, keeping it nice and tight on the core, I've got to think it's probably the better solution. Now, let's move on to a separate beast entirely, and that's gonna be our fuse bonded. Like I said, with the naked eye, we can obviously tell it is fuse bonded because it is a nine gauge core and an eight gauge finish. It's got a really, really small coating, but the larger coating, the thicker coating, isn't necessary on the fuse bonded just because the coating is so tough and durable. So we'll perform the same test. We'll whittle off a piece. So we've got fuse bonded, and we are absolutely, we can peel off small small slivers, but the jacket itself is not coming off. I mean, the title says it all, it is fused. The jacket is fused to the core. So stronger wire altogether because it's nine gauge core. You get the strength of the core in there, but you get the durability of the jacket actually being fused to the core. Arguably, probably the best product in the extruded lineup. Now. 
It is more expensive. One, because it's got the nine gauge core, just physically the materials cost more. It's also a little bit more of a pain to run. Because it's got the nine gauge core, it's more likely to skin up, it's more likely not to want to twist properly, that sort of thing, which translates into we can run extruded bonded and especially extruded faster than we can run fuse bonded. So if we're pricing out the price per square foot of this material, we can't produce as much of it in a day, therefore it costs more per square foot. That makes sense. Guys, that's a pretty simplistic breakdown, but I think it's fairly complete. If you've got more questions on the difference of extruded versus extruded bonded versus fuse bonded chain link wire, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Joe Everest, the fence expert, reminding you that good fences make good neighbors.